Arsenal are good. Arsenal weren't even at their best today. I don't think Arsenal have been right at their best this season, but they're still grinding out results. And look, they deserve to win. They were good today. But I think we're going to see so much more from Arsenal and they're going to get even better, which is what I don't like. I look at Saliba, I'm like, wow. I look at Declan Rice and I'm like, this guy looks like world class, like best in the world level right now. I look at so many things at Arsenal, I'm like, this is good. And I don't like it because Man United and Arsenal, they have their banter eras together. It looks like Arsenal are getting out of their banter era and Man United are staying in it. So as a Man United fan, I don't like it. And I want to talk about Arsenal's 1-0 win over Everton. Uh, I think Arsenal were the better side. I think they deserve to win. I think Everton are a great side. I still think there's some things missing in Arsenal. I think Enketi has a few weaknesses that are starting to get exposed. I think that maybe going into the next window, Arsenal might want a bit of a more reliable striker than Jesus in terms of fitness. Someone that could score a lot of goals. But I think for the most part, Arsenal were fantastic today. Um, I, I really do. I think they're not at their best. I still think there's something missing in the Arsenal side, but this is still good. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, Raya, David Raya, unreal. He looks better than Ramsdale. I said Raya's better than Ramsdale. And I think Ramsdale's a good keeper, but I think Ramsdale is not a top three in the world keeper or like a top three in the league keeper, if that's the way to say it. I always said um, last year, I said the best keeper was Alisson, followed by Raya, followed by... Um, Edison and I, and I stick with that and I'm saying this as a United fan I, I thought, I've always thought Raya was a fantastic goalkeeper and I think he looked a lot more comfortable than Ramsdale today and obviously um, Arteta is going to rotate them a bit and kind of figure out which one he wants here and there but I do think the long term Raya could be a better option for Arsenal than Ramsdale just because I feel like Ramsdale sometimes looks a little bit nervy this isn't me disrespecting Ramsdale or anything but I think he looks a bit nervy and I thought Raya was fantastic today I thought Gabriel again was great I think defensively Arsenal are defending as a unit at the moment really really good I think uh, Gabriel was class and Jenko was good he had a lot of control but Saliba is a is, is is William Saliba human every time I watch William Saliba play he's absolutely unbelievable and I hate it you know Arsenal defending really well at the moment defending as a unit and Saliba, yet again, just absolutely faultless, doesn't make any mistakes, looks absolutely insane. And the scary thing about Saliba is he's like 22 years of age. Like, he's not even in his prime. Like, imagine how good Saliba's going to be in four years in his prime. Like, he could go down as an all-timer. And I hate that. And as good as Saliba was, the guy that still stands out for me for Arsenal is Declan Rice. I am so angry at Arsenal side Declan Rice because I really wanted Man United to sign him. I said, this guy, Declan Rice, he could play as an eight, he can play as a six. But Declan Rice... Is looking elite so far. I mean, these are his game statistics. Look at that 93% pass accuracy, 83 passes, insane, 14 into the final third. He created a chance, he had a shot, all his dribbles completed, all his long balls completed. Like Declan Rice was everywhere recoveries, interceptions, block shots. Declan Rice is unbelievable. Declan Rice, Saliba, they're two unbelievable players who've been unbelievable for Arsenal this season. I don't think Odegaard was at it today. Of course, Odegaard's a great player, but this wasn't Odegaard's best game. I don't think it was Saka's best game either, to be honest. But when you've got Rice and you've got Saliba in the middle and the defence of the pitch, Arsenal just need to just improve that final product, that final ball. And I do think Arsenal, in terms of long term, do need like an out-and-out goal scorer. I like N Nketi, he's a good player. I like Jesus, he's a good player. But I think, you know, they just need to level up. You compare that to Haaland, who their competition is at Man City, and they're not the same level. But I look at Arsenal, I think, you know what? It's not quite there yet. It's not 100% clicked, but they're still getting results. They're still looking good. They've still got some unbelievable players. And I think, you know, once Arsenal, you know, get that kind of way they're clicking a little bit, playing a little bit better, uh, you've got obviously maybe a striker coming in. I think phew, they're going somewhere. I still think City will win the league. But I think Arsenal are going somewhere, I have to say. You know, a lot of people have given Arsenal some doubts in the first half, saying, oh, this Arsenal side hasn't looked great this season, la -de la I watched Arsenal, I thought they looked good. I've seen Arsenal play better, but I thought they looked good. I thought Stecklin Rice and Saliba were absolutely unreal today. I thought, for the most point, Arsenal defended well as a unit. I think Arsenal were defending really, really well at the moment. I thought Raya was great. I thought, you know, maybe Gabriel Jesus should probably start the next game. Maybe Vieira needs to be a bit confident, uh, a bit more confident. I think there's a lack of confidence in Vieira, but he looked for right as well. I think Arsenal were in control, control of the game, but they sometimes maybe get sucked into it a little bit to scrap. And there's been fine margins in their recent games rather than four or five no wins against Everton. You know, they've just beat Paris Palace. They've just beat Everton. There has been fine margins. Um, and I think, you know, they need a, probably a bit more link up between this Odegaard, Saka, Saka, White system for them as well. But the win for Arsenal is so important. Important. 
You know, Arsenal are getting three points. Arsenal are in second. Arsenal are two points off Man City. All they've draw, done is drawn one game. And I don't think Arsenal have got started yet. I think Arsenal have been good, but I don't think they've got started. I don't think they're at their best yet. But the fact that they've played five games and got 13 points, and I'm saying they haven't got started yet, says to me, like, when are they going to drop points? You know, probably Man City, but when are they going to drop points? They do look really good. And, you know, I don't like it. I'm, I wanted Arsenal to lose today as a Man United fan. I wanted Arsenal to go back into their Van City era. And I'm glad that Chelsea are rubbish. It's the only thing making me feel better about being a Man United fan right now because Spurs are looking unbelievable. Arsenal are looking unbelievable. Newcastle were great as well. Newcastle looked like they'll get back on track after the difficult starts of the season. And then Liverpool are looking good. And Man City are just Man City, aren't they? And I'm just like, Man United's falling behind. And Chelsea will just spend and spend and spend to make sure they don't fall behind eventually. But Man United are just falling behind. And... I'm a bit depressed as a United fan, I can't lie. And I just see William Saliba completed 96 passes that game. He had 91% pass accuracy, 110 touches Saliba made. Um, you know, all the passes, all the blocks, all the long balls, five final third passes he made, five ball recoveries, two blocks, two clearances. Like, William Saliba is crazy. William Saliba, Gabriel, the defensive unity at Arsenal is insane. Declan Rice in the midfield is insane. Yeah, I, I, as a United fan, I, I can't lie. Like, I am a little bit jealous of what I'm seeing at Arsenal. I'm jealous of how good Declan Rice is because he's like a leader. I did a whole video on Declan Rice, but I'm like, he's like a leader. You look at Declan Rice and you don't think Arsenal signed him like two months ago. You think this guy's been at Arsenal years. You think this guy is Arsenal's captain. He's like absolute on and off the pitch leader. And the worrying thing about Arsenal is all their players are incredibly young. All of Arsenal's players are incredibly young. And it's like, well, they're only going to get better and better and better. You know, Arteta's a good manager. He's shown that he can improve Arsenal with the backing. It's been slow, but he's... You surely can improve Arsenal when the Premier League is the most difficult league in the world. Obviously, Arsenal got European football. We'll see how they adapt to, to injuries and extra games. But you look at this Arsenal side here and you look at this lineup. Well, Martinelli's 21 22, Saka's 21 22, and Ketia, I assume he's 21 22. Vieira is young, Declan Rice is 24. I think Odegaard's 24 as well. Um, like even Gabriel, I think, is like 25 or 26. I think he's quite young. But same with Ben White and Saliba is 22. This is a really young Arsenal side that will get better and better and better. And you look on the bench, Jesus, Tommy Asu, Trossard, Havertz, four, four good options on the bench. I really do rate Emil Smith-Rowe. I know he's not played a lot lately, but I'm a big Emil Smith-Rowe fan. You've got players like Emil Smith-Rowe and Ramsdale on the bench. And what cost Arsenal last season and what is the reason they bottled the league last season is they didn't have the depth that maybe Man City had. And I look at Arsenal's bench now and it's looking a lot better. They're starting to get the depth. Their defensive unity looks great. They look great defensively. They've got some kind of system. They've got a world-class midfielder in Declan Rice, which means because a party's always injured, it doesn't really matter now. Vieira's growing, but can still improve. And I just think, you know, Enketi is a good player. Jesus is a good player. I think, But I think, you know, maybe the long-term strike is what they need just to compete with Man City because they've got Haaland. But I'm looking at Arsenal. I'm saying, you know what? I don't even think they're there yet. They're not even 100% there yet like they're still not looking their best but they keep getting results and i'm like they're gonna get better every game the longer the, the more and more they get used to the system and then maybe they're only one two signings away from man city if that really if they, if they get lucky with injuries so yeah unfortunately arsenal was serious i thought arsenal were going to drop points today and, and i could banter them but they're a good side and i don't like it smash a like smash a subscribe thank you for watching see you next time bye